Hello, I'm Bob Martin with the City of South Lyon, and I want to take this opportunity to talk to you about the water main construction program that will be going on in our city next year. We were fortunate enough to receive a special loan from the state of Michigan to replace all of the old four and six inch cast iron pipes that bring water to our homes and businesses, mainly in the older part of town near the downtown business district. This is a great deal for the city because many of these pipes are more than 80 years old and they are corroded and we spend a lot of time and money replacing them in the winter due to the cold weather. Even though this project is a welcome improvement, the installation of the new pipes will take some time and may cause some temporary inconvenience along the way. We want you to be aware of what to expect and how you can help us make this project go as smoothly as possible. To explain some of the details of how this project will proceed, I've asked Jesse Vandekreek of our engineering firm, Hubble, Roth, and Clark, to talk about who will be doing the construction and what will happen as the new pipes are being placed into service. Thanks, Bob. There are over five miles of old water main to be replaced throughout the city, beginning in January 2013 and continuing through 2014. You can imagine that there will be construction equipment and workers everywhere during this time. So please be careful when walking or driving through these areas of activity. The South Lion website has a map that shows which streets have water mains that are scheduled for replacement. This way, you can see if there will be construction where you live. The URL address for the South Lion website is shown on your screen. Here is a brief description of the work to be performed in your neighborhood in the event that the water main on your street is scheduled for replacement. The existing water mains are usually located in the street right-of-way and at least four feet below ground to help protect them from freezing. The new pipes will be located in the same vicinity. Normally, when you're installing new mains, a trench is dug along the entire length of a street and the pipe placed in the trench after being carefully bedded with the proper materials. The trench is then backfilled and the road patched or lawn areas seeded. In our case, the new pipes will be installed using a trenchless technology that limits the amount of excavation and reduces the amount of road disturbance and subsequent patching. It also helps the construction go faster. Pits are dug at intervals of up to 400 feet apart, and a device is used to pull one continuous piece of HDPE plastic pipe from one pit to the next. After the pipe is pulled into place, it is chlorinated and tested to make sure it is safe before any connections are made. This process will normally take less than a week for each section. There may be times when construction equipment is in the street and we may need to close parts of the street or take a lane out of service. Again, please be careful when driving or walking in these areas. The service lines that take water from the new mains to each home or business are then dug up and reconnected to the new water main. This is where it gets a little tricky because there may be times when your water service will be shut off while making this reconnection. You will be notified with door hangers like this when work will be conducted near your home or business and when you may be subject to brief water outages. If you have any questions, you can always contact the city, the on-site representative from Hubble, Roth & Clark, or the contractor's representative. The phone numbers for these people are shown on your screen. It is important to note that water outages will be temporary and usually very short, less than an hour. If you experience a water service outage or if you get discolored water when the contractor is flushing the mains, you should run your water for a brief period until the water color returns to normal. The pavement, driveway, 
or lawn areas that are disturbed by the contractor will be restored after the construction is complete. We may not get to all areas immediately after construction, especially if a lawn is disturbed during the hot part of the summer. Rest assured that we will get to them. If you have any questions about the work, you can contact the numbers that were shown on the screen earlier. Thanks, Jesse. The city is very excited about getting this project done as quickly and efficiently as possible. With a little cooperation and patience on everyone's part, we can all enjoy a safer and more reliable water system next year.